The Patapsco River watershed spans four counties, flows to the Baltimore City Harbor, and ultimately into Chesapeake Bay. The watershed consists of forested areas, rural areas, productive farms, as well as suburban, urban, and industrial areas. With increased urban development, the Patapsco watershed faces a variety of new challenges, like stormwater runoff and higher sediment loads. One of the biggest issues that we're struggling in that's a primary issue environmentally, economically, uh, socially, is this 30,000 vacant and abandoned lots in Baltimore. When you have a lot of land draining into a small body of water, the land can make the water sick if there's a lot of environmental pollution on the land. We've focused on trying to turn those 30,000 vacant abandoned lots around into something positive. The Green Pattern Book is a tool to help stakeholders use greening techniques to transform city-owned vacant lots into a network of green spaces, such as parks and community gardens. These greening techniques can improve water quality in the Patapsco watershed by reducing and filtering polluted stormwater runoff before it enters Baltimore's streams and harbors. The Growing Green Design Competition, co-sponsored by EPA and Baltimore City, allows local stakeholders to use the Green Pattern Book and submit designs to be funded and implemented. The location is working to serve underserved communities in Baltimore, too. Uh, Baltimore has a high minority population. Many neighborhoods have high unemployment, 20, 30 percent. Another great partner in the uh, work that we're doing in Baltimore is Humanum, which is an NGO that specializes in workforce development and social enterprise. Through Humanum's brick-by-brick -brick program, the abandoned houses and buildings located on vacant lots throughout the city are being deconstructed so that the old building materials can be salvaged and resold. For every 50 buildings deconstructed, Humanum creates 24 jobs for local Baltimore residents. We've got over 60 entities that are involved in the partnership, so we've got uh, a you know, great diversity of partners participating in the partnership. But the greatest number of participants we have in our partnership are NGOs. To track how their network of environmental stewardship partners is interacting and changing, the Baltimore location uses a tool called StuMap short for the Stewardship Mapping and Assessment Project. StuMap was developed by the USDA Forest Service. What they have done is created a network analysis of all the groups involved in natural resources stewardship and their relationships to each other. What we're hoping to accomplish is increasing the size of the network, increasing the strength of ties between members of the network, and increasing the number of ties between members of the network. And that's how we'll know that we're being effective in network development for the partnership. The Baltimore location believes that establishing a strong network of partners is critical to restoring the city's urban waters and ensuring that this positive change will persist for years to come. And ultimately, of course, it's having the middle branch be fishable and swimmable. That's what we're trying to accomplish. That's the big picture vision. It's, it's really exciting, and uh, we're really grateful to have the Urban Waters Partnerships active in Patapsco Back River.